motorcycle. You ever rode a motorcycle? Okay, when you ride a motorcycle, or when you ever go to a motorcycle class, they tell you when you when you turn, don't look at the handlebar because you're gonna veer off that way. They're gonna say, look behind you, let the bike follow through because it doesn't have a real sharp turn radius, right? Same thing with the horse. If I wanna go that way, I turn my body. You see what my body's doing? My hip, you see my shoulder? Look where it's facing. It's coming this way. So that means I gotta be this way. So if I turn my body, look what she's doing. She's positioning herself to go that way. And if I squeeze, she's gonna follow through like that. Now, if I come back this way, as soon as I turn and she feel it, I'm gonna follow through, I'm gonna follow through, follow it right there, release, that's where I wanted. You see that? You want her to feel this, because when you're riding, and the more and more you ride her, and she feels this shift, she's gonna start to maneuver off of your transition from your body, not your hands. Squeeze, look at how much softer she is. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna start to turn this way. Look. Where are you gonna lift? Now look what she's doing. She felt my body. I'm gonna keep turning, 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 turning. I'm gonna stop right here. Now look, squeeze. I'm gonna start looking this way. Put my hands in this position. Look what she does as I'm turning. She starts to follow through off of that feel. Feel what your horse is doing. Don't force your horse to do anything. You feel the horse, right? Good. Because when you're when you're riding a horse and you need to go that way, you just gotta look, hey, we need to go this way. Your horse, look it, see how softer? She rolls that hind around and she's already to go in that direction. Squeeze with your legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Roll this way, 